Introduction Business Intelligence, BI, is a technology-driven process for analyzing data and presenting actionable information to help corporate executives, business managers and other end-users to make more informed business decisions. BI encompasses a variety of tools, applications and methodologies that enable organizations to collect data from internal systems and external sources, prepare it for analysis, develop and run queries against the data and create reports, dashboards and data visualizations to make the analytical results available to corporate decision makers as well as operational workers. Business Intelligence BI, is a general classification of application projects and advances for a social event, putting away, breaking down and giving access to information to offer Endeavour clients some assistance with making better business choices. BI applications bolster the exercises of decision support, question and reporting, online scientific handling OLAP, measurable investigation, forecasting and information mining. BI incorporates an arrangement of ideas and strategies to enhance business choice using so as to make face-based support system. BI actually is about making esteem for one's associations in view of information or, all the more absolutely, truths. While it appears like another trendy expression to depict what fruitful business visionaries have been accomplishing for a long time, if not hundreds of years, that is, utilizing business sound judgment. From an advanced business esteem point of view, partnerships use BI to improve choice making abilities for administrative procedures, e.g., arranging, planning, controlling, surveying, measuring, and observing, and to guarantee basic data is misused in a convenient way. What's more, Computer frameworks are the tools that offer people some assistance with doing that better, quicker and with additional unwavering quality. Chapter 1 An Introduction to Business Intelligence Defining Business Intelligence Business intelligence is the specialty of picking up a business point of preference from information by noting central inquiries, for example, how different clients rank, how business is getting along now, and if proceeded with the current way, what clinical trials should be continued that would stop Bunny's company from being dumped into. With a solid BI, organisations can boost choices with more than only a premonition making a certainty-based decisioning structure by means of a solid computer framework gives trust in any choices made. History of Business Intelligence Business intelligence is not only a current thought. In his popular treatise, The Art of War, Sun Tzu says, What enables the wise commander to strike and conquer and achieve things beyond the reach of ordinary men is foreknowledge. Now this foreknowledge cannot be elicited from spirits. While Sun Tzu is not the father of business intelligence, his idea that prescience breeds achievement applies specifically to BI. Current BI utilizes computers to pick up premonition by preparing and investigating data in backing off business choices. In the 1980s, Executive Information Systems, EIS, in the 1990s, OLAP, trailed by scorecards, dashboards, KPIs, key execution markers, and ongoing alarms through business movement monitoring. BI was coined by Gartner, Dressner, 1989, as an umbrella term to portray the arrangement of ideas and strategies used to enhance business choice, using so as to make data-based supportive networks. Notwithstanding the moniker people give BI, it is sure that it is staying here. Business Intelligence Product Landscape Business intelligence is not as a matter of course about tools and advancements. Rather, it is methodologies of constellating information from different sources with techniques that make those actualities harden in a firm way. The information part of this procedure is information warehousing. 
once the information is sourced, cleaned, advanced, acclimated and lastly housed in access prepared, organizations BI devices can make the information sign and move. BI is generally found in the data delivery area. Operational BI, then again, is reporting. Furthermore, examination done directly off of the operational frameworks or by means of an operational data store. Customer BI makes utilization of past information focuses. What you think about the information from an authentic point of view. Furthermore, shows it for the end client to make essential deductions. The chronicle reporting exploits the dimensionality in the information to cut up by reporting realities along any number of measurements. Early reporting tools permitted software engineers to characterize precisely what they needed to introduce at differing levels of granularity and conglomeration. In the 1980s, a plenty of OLAP-style information structures developed, which include MOLAP, ROLAP and hybrid ROLAP all of which gave the capacity to bore in, around and through to understand the information exhibited. While OLAP is positively not dead, exceptionally organised interfaces to the information left an association's official branch intrigued by the points of interest. As it were, taking information from Green Bar and basically exchanging it to the programme was insufficient. Administration expected to combine the information into important bits of data. Let me know what is wrong, highlight the actualities for me, was the main thrust behind the dashboard and scorecards in today's electronic tool compartment. Giving an account of the past can just show what has happened, not what the future might bring. Past data must be joined with some ongoing data and afterward layered with examination, keeping in mind the end goal to have genuine prescience. This is the place information mining. Determining and other prescient examination assume an essential part. Why business intelligence? Most organizations track and record a large number of exchanges day by day. Not simply client purchases, which may incorporate data, for example, the client, the items or things sold, the store from which the purchase was made, and the date and time of the purchase. Additionally, exchanges, for example, stock room movement, stock buys, representative hours and time off, and day-by-day -day working expenses. Truth be told, most organisations are for all intents and purposes swimming in information. On the off chance that just there was an approach to gathering this information in one place and comprehend it all with a basic report, or set of reports. Organisations who can effectively concentrate appropriate information from their pile of data are increasing one-of-kind points of view of their business, empowering them to end up cleaner and more focused. The procedure of gathering, arranging and dissecting business information and transforming it into helpful and significant data is usually alluded to as business intelligence. With business knowledge, organisations have more noteworthy understanding into their association yielding new open doors, remedies to existing methods or procedures, upper hands, and that's only the tip of the iceberg, including the capacity to distinguish top offering items by area, store or salesman, recognize patterns, both great and terrible, at an opportune time, create specially appointed budgetary reports, track rivals in their general vicinity, Analyse data about clients, items, costs and expenses after some time. Before we move on towards complexities regarding business intelligence, you first need to be familiar with several terms which you will come across when reading out business intelligence. For that, you have got to read the next chapter. Chapter 2 Several terms you need to know regarding business intelligence. Before you run and compose a SQL inquiry to begin separating your business knowledge data from your organization's database, there are a few things you might need to consider first. Also, to do that, you'll need to characterize a couple of terms. Not all databases are same. 
All things considered, it can be contended that they sort of are, yet it is being alluded here to how the fundamental database is set up and arranged, or what is known as the database schema. To rearrange things, one should think about a database as a gathering of tables. Every table has lines and sections, and where every line and segment meets is a cell, and every cell contains a solitary bit of information. Think about a table as a solitary Excel spreadsheet and a database as an arrangement of Excel spreadsheets. Most databases today are social databases, and commonly the objective is to minimize reiteration of information over the tables. In this way, for instance, there may be a solitary table for client information, name, address, telephone, email, and obviously the essential key of the client ID. And another table for items, maker, item name, SKU, cost, and obviously the item ID. At the point when a deal is made, one client might buy different items. However, every item is not recorded comprehensively for every exchange, nor is the client data. Rather, in the table that records this business exchange, all that would be required are to record the item IDs and the client ID alongside the time and date and the store area, presumably a store ID, and possibly the ID of the sales representative. Along these lines, the information has been minimized with simply the store ID, the client ID and the item IDs the organization can discover everything about the purchase and the individual making the purchase, from the kind of individual who purchases a specific item to the season of day when the most deals are made at this store. Online Transaction Processing OLTP. Social databases are best when the essential objective is to record numerous exchanges, which is the situation for general organizations. Actually, in retail particularly, the most vital thought is having the capacity to record numerous exchanges at the same time of the venture, with shields to avoid two or more individuals changing the same data in the meantime, and in addition, the capacity to keep reinforcements of the exchange database progressively. This sort of framework is alluded to as an online transaction processing or OLTP database, and these frameworks are incredible for recording exchanges, however, not all that good at extricating and examining vital information rapidly. An alternate kind of database is utilized for examination. Online Analytical Processing OLAP. There are a few reasons why running examination against the analytic database is an awful thought. The various tables make an unpredictability that makes examination hard to perform rapidly, and this will affect database execution, which thus will bring about deferrals at the registration line. However, there are different reasons. In the middle of the time it takes to run the examination, new exchanges are being included, which might modify the precision of the investigation you are attempting to perform. Another issue is that the generation database requires various accesses from different divisions, including the business partners, the distribution central faculty and the bookkeeping staff. Commonly, that is not the situation for investigative information. Rather, the investigation is just performed on verifiable information by a couple individuals, so synchronous access by numerous clients and the capacity to record concurrent exchanges is a bit much. What is essential, be that as it may, is the capacity to crunch gigantic measures of information rapidly. This requires an alternate method for taking a gander at how the database is assembled. A database particularly intended for business examination is called an online analytical processing, OLAP database. It may likewise be alluded to as a data warehouse or a data mart. Attributes of an OLAP database A standout amongst the most recognising normal for an OLAP database is that is by and large detached from the value-based database. This ensures operations performed for investigation won't affect the creation database. 
it likewise implies that the OLAP database contains just recorded information, with particularly zero overhauls to the information itself. Another recognizing trademark is that there are far less tables in an OLAP database than is generally found in an OLTP database, and the thought of rehashing information in the tables is no more a thought. Rather, the emphasis is on how rapidly the database can get to the data expected to perform the investigations required. A third trademark is that the OLAP database is essentially concerned with numerical information, additionally called measures or certainties. Facts, Dimensions and OLAP Cubes The primary table in an OLAP database is the fact table, where the data of interest is put away. The information put away in the fact table are taken from different dimension tables, which speak to some viewpoint expected to perform the information examination. For instance, in the event that people needed to break down the aggregate deals figures of each of the stores for every quarter, it would have a time measurement table, speaking of the time period from which information is taken, and a store measurement, speaking to each of the stores being investigated. The fact table would then contain the business figures for every store for every time period. This would be a fact table joined to two dimension tables. It could include another, third measurement, for instance, product. Presently, it can demonstrate the aggregate deals by item for every store for every quarter. In science, two measurements characterize a zone or an X-Y rectangular framework length and width, similar to the surface of a tabletop, while three measurements characterize a space, length, width and profundity, or X, Y, Z coordinate framework. A rectangle with depth characterizes a case, or shape, like a six-sided passon, or letters in order piece. In this way, an OLAP fact table with three measurements is called an OLAP cube, Presently, in fact, a block is equivalent along every one of its edges, and an OLAP cube is not as a matter of course symmetrical, so it should be presumably is called an OLAP box. Be that as it may, the expression OLAP cube is ordinarily utilised as a part of this sense. Scientifically, you can characterise more than only three measurements. You can't draw or envision more than three measurements effectively. For example, despite of store, quarter and item, you could likewise take a gander at the business information by client, by instalment sort, by deals partner without any end in sight. This would give us a multidimensional OLAP cube, once in a while called a hypercube. In any case, numerous examiners utilise the term OLAP cube to incorporate hypercubes also. Every measurement table contains facts, called members. Whenever possible, individuals are assembled into packing orders, which are spoken to as guardian or youngster connections. For instance, time can be spoken to as years, quarters and months, days, hours or minutes. Day would be a kid of month, however, a guardian of hour. This permits the expert to look at information by year, additionally by months, days and hours. However, much as could reasonably be expected, fact tables normally just contain the key fields expected to interface the fact table to the different dimension tables and measure fields which contain the measures or actualities being dissected. The dimension tables by difference contain certainties as well as give extra data related them, called attributes. For instance, a product measurement table might contain traits, for example, the item name, producer and SKU. OLAP Schema An OLAP database outline will regularly take the type of either a star pattern or a snowflake construction. Both try to minimise the quantity of tables expected to get to the information of hobby. In the least difficult outline, the star blueprint, the fact tables can reference one or more dimension tables, framing an example looking like a star. The snowflake pattern has no less than one dimension table that is itself connected with another dimension table. 
the Snowflake composition is utilized to enhance execution for particular database questions. There are essentially three sorts of OLAP databases. Multidimensional OLAP, MOLAP, Relational OLAP, ROLAP, and Hybrid OLAP, HOLAP. MOLAP. Data is put away in multidimensional 3D squares and is not social, which accelerates question execution, but rather restrains the measure of information it can handle. ROLAP. Data is put away in a social database, which expands the measure of information it can deal with, yet motivations execution to endure. HOLAP. Combines both sorts to exploit MOLAP for quicker execution when working with outline information, however, utilizes ROLAP when point-by-point -point data is required. Common operations performed by OLAP databases are slice and dice, drill down or up, raw up and pivot. Slice and dice. A slice of 3D square is selecting information from the 3D shape one measurement to a single value. For instance, the examiner may take a look at deals for all items for all months in the year for a single store, or deals for all stores and all items for a particular month. Dicing alludes to selecting a scope of conceivable qualities along one or more measurements, for instance, deals for the main quarter for all items in just the southeastern stores. Drill down or up allows the investigator to take a look at rundown information, drill up, or more nitty-gritty information, drill down. Roll up summarizes or aggregates the information along one or more measurements. Pivot rotates the 3D shape so the expert can see information along an alternate pivot. For instance, rather than taking a gander at aggregate offers of every item at every store year by year, the investigator may turn the table to show how every item sold each year store by store, speaking to the same information from an alternate perspective. Moving from OLTP to OLAP Sooner or later, information from the OLTP database should be moved to the OLAP database, a procedure called Extract, Transform, and load, ETL. Extract. The information that will be set into the information stockroom, OLAP database, does not, as a matter of course, originate from the OLTP database. In fact, the information might originate from various information sources and show up in various organizations. Part of the extraction procedure is to change the information to an arrangement for use in the transformation stage. Transform. All extracted information is controlled into the same information sort for putting away into the information distribution center. For instance, one framework may utilize 1 for yes and 0 for no. Another may utilize the characters y and n. The transformation procedure would arrange these into a configuration the objective database will utilize. Load here, the transformed information is stacked into the OLAP database. ETL is a period when information can be cleaned, for instance, invalid passages are disposed of or adjusted, invalid qualities for required fields, or clashing information is accommodated, locations might have changed. ETL is additionally done when some basic choices are made. Part of the explanations behind making the Information Distribution Center is to rapidly investigate the numerical information being created over the endeavor. Until or unless all the information from each exchange will be saved, requiring a huge and complex database, some information must be amassed or abridged. For example, Instead of storing all individual exchange records, the organization might choose to just store the information as hourly, day-by-day -day, or month-to-month -month deals figures. This is really a vital idea. In the event that the OLAP database is at first designed to aggregate the information by month, the examiner won't have the capacity to later see the information at a better granularity, similar to days or hours, without retreating to the first information source and separating it once more. 
Accordingly, it is vital to see how the information will be used before setting up the measurements, or OLAP cubes. Clearly, there is significantly more than can be said on the subject of business intelligence and information distribution center outline that didn't spread here. Nonetheless, the objective of this chapter is to help you in comprehending the fundamental ideas that have influence while considering any information stockroom or business knowledge arrangement, and, in addition, the contrasts between an OLTP database and an OLAP database, and a portion of the standards utilized as a part of setting up an information distribution center. This data have to additionally offer you some assistance with evaluating business intelligence arrangement suppliers. In the event that you are searching for a BI arrangement, your next steps will be to look into the devices your forthcoming sellers have available for. Setting up your OLAP construction, relocating your generation information to the information stockroom, and examining your information. Chapter 3 Benefits of Business Intelligence Business Intelligence, BI, is essential for the successful administration and employment of information. It rose in the last part of the 20th century and has turned into an essential part of the choice-making forms for discrete organizations hoping to make utilization of a large group of information regarding client administration, stock, evaluating, and many more significant ones. BI is an accrual of applications and programs that examine different parts of information and presents it in structures that upgrade choice-making. It has developed from creating simple reports and apparatuses utilized for chronicled question to incorporate a large group of parts, for example, anticipating, online investigative handling, prescient demonstrating, information administration, information mining and enhancement. When supplied with these fundamental apparatuses, organizations can precisely survey what is or is not working at present, perceive what historical measurements lead to this, and promptly distinguish future patterns to expand their potential. Trending A standout amongst unique advantages of BI is its capacity to offer a prescient examination of information that identifies with future events. Analytics such as information mining, forecasting and online analytical processing, OLAP, perceive connections between information that make it conceivable to decide future patterns. Information mining instruments examine particular segments of information through parameters, for example, path examination and affiliation, which thus decide helpful connections between information occasions. Grouping parameters convey a visual representation of data not previously perceived, while estimating gives a strong premise to the expectation of pattern change. Information incorporation is a basic element of any BI arrangement and can represent matters that really influence particular business sector concerns, for example, client demographics, financial conditions and commercial centre situations. These prescient examinations permit courses to refine business procedures in planning for what's to come. One can contend that the individual customizing of business procedures is a crucial refinement between endeavors in the same business. They regularly use comparable innovations and items, however, modify them in boundlessly diverse ways. Predictive modeling Another component of most focused BI items, especially those included in different parts of outline, is predictive modeling. This feature of BI works in conjunction with estimation and examination to give visuals representations of speculative situations, allowing for organizations to actually see which choice works best. Besides, its incorporation with other BI tools permits it to get to the same information that is related to an organization, thus affecting the viability of alternative business situation models. BI offers predictive modeling for both quantitative and subjective elements. Clients essentially put up their organization's information into an assortment of channels that break down and deliver distinctive yields, all of which use the same predefined rules that address the specific worry of a theoretical circumstance. 
This presentation of different situations empowers clients to proficiently and economically inspect their choices and forecast results before selecting the most advantageous. Furthermore, this part of BI empowers a society of advancement and innovativeness since representatives can promptly undertake diverse circumstances with negligible cost and misuse of organization costs. A further assistance of BI is the level of adaptability in the kind of information it can examine and consolidate into the choice-making process. It considers a large group of logistical and advertising worries that could influence an organization's procedures and with predictive modeling can give an effective investigation that offers end to finished after effects of shifting situations. This specific element is perfect for potential activities that have high usage costs. Predictive modeling can likewise yield representations that are available to non-specialized clients who can very easily control them through arranged info elements. The collective coordination of the greater part of the individual segments of BI, forecasting, reporting, OLAP, information administration and predictive modeling, takes into consideration ongoing investigation of the most practical courses of activities for organizations in view of their own information. Centralization. BI encourages the centralization of information with the goal that it opens to an assortment of offices and end clients. This is especially helpful for endeavors comprising of various storehouses, yet requiring a complete review of procedures in the middle of divisions and the whole venture. BI items can be particular to a specific division of an organization give information that relates to a particular venture and to the organization's goals in general. They incorporate information combination innovation that considers the putting away of all information important to a specific capacity of an organization, for example, deals, requests, sending and valuing. Focused BI arrangements can likewise represent outside components identifying with a particular industry, including across the nation elements, for example, GDP, loan costs or contender information. BI licenses clients to get to the data they require in a solitary view that can be stratified as essential. OLAP greatly gives particular representations of information oftentimes constituted in a multidimensional database, so clients can look at it from an assortment of perspectives with characteristics that might incorporate time, valuing and other quantifiable data. Clients can separate whatever information is most helpful at the time and examine it in connection to others. Mobile applications allow access anywhere there is internet connection available. Client Benefits BI displays various distinct benefits for organizations that deal one-to-one -one with purchasers. It offers significant information that can help with open doors for up-offering and cross-offering items, giving clients the capacity to promptly recognize new markets. A few BI items use decision support systems that present information important for correlations and a specific demographic. Clients can get to past client propensities and additionally decide items and administrations which clearly connect with such propensities. There are bounties cross limited time opportunities. Deals and advertising endeavors turn out to be progressively streamlined, improving the probability for consumer loyalty. The utilization of examination and predictive models empowers ventures to distinguish what administrations will influence their clients the most, and in addition to record, the data picked up from client contact. By keeping this data in a solitary database that agents from different organizations' divisions can get to, BI items empower an additionally satisfying client experience, build client maintenance and permit deals and promoting faculty to benefit as much as possible from their assets. General organization effectiveness is expanded, lowering costs and expanding incomes. BI encourages legitimate enterprise structure by giving a combination of information that points its needs. It can recognize zones that have a lack or excess of consideration speeding up the streamlining of organization assets that can help with profitability. 
competitive BI arrangements take into account quick upgrading, conceding clients the most current data about organization forms and their belongings. These impacts are basic for stock applications using the continuous and prescient investigation to take out overloading and to permit clients to get their items and administrations in an opportune manner. Judicious BI clients can likewise collect information with respect to the organization procedures of rifles with an end goal to break down which methodologies are working or not and to clarify purposes of qualification between them. Chapter 4 how Business Intelligence Works BI utilizes advancements, procedures and applications to examine for the most part internal, organized information and business procedures. Data Warehousing and Business Intelligence Regularly, BI applications use information assembled from an information stockroom or information shop. Be that as it may, not all information stockrooms are utilised for business knowledge, nor do all business intelligence applications require an information distribution centre. Keeping in mind the end goal to recognise ideas of business intelligence and information distribution centres, Forrester Research frequently characterises business knowledge in one of two ways. Guest Definition Business intelligence is an arrangement of techniques, procedures, models and advances that change crude information into important and helpful data used to empower more powerful, vital, strategic and operational bits of knowledge and choice-making. When utilising this definition, business intelligence additionally incorporates advances, for example, information, coordination, information quality, information warehousing, expert information administration, content and substance examination, and numerous others that the business sector once in a while knots into the information management portion. In this way, Forrester alludes to information readiness and information utilization as two separate yet firmly connected portions of the business knowledge design stack. Forrester characterizes the last mentioned smaller business knowledge market as alluding to simply the top layers of the BI structural stack, for example, reporting, examination, and dashboards. Business intelligence and business analytics. Thomas Davenport has contended that business knowledge has to be partitioned into questioning, reporting, OLAP, a quotient's instrument and business investigation. In this definition, the business examination is the subset of BI taking into account insights, forecast and enhancement. Business intelligence can be connected to the accompanying business purposes, M-A-R-C-K-M keeping in mind the end goal to drive business quality. M-A-R-C-K-M implies measurement, analytics, reporting or enterprise reporting, collaboration or collaboration platform, and knowledge management. Adding to the above, business intelligence likewise can give a star dynamic methodology, for example, alarm capacity to caution instantly to end client. There are numerous sorts of cautions, for instance, if some business quality surpasses the edge esteem, the shade of that sum in the report will turn red and the business analyst is alarmed. In some cases, a red email will be sent to the client also. This end-to-end -end process requires information administration, which has to be taken care of by the master. Semi-structured or unstructured data Organizations gather a gigantic measure of important data. These data incorporated into the type of messages, updates, notes from call focuses, news, client bunches, visits, reports, side pages, presentations, picture records, video documents and promoting material and news. BI utilizes both organized and unstructured information, yet the previous is anything but difficult to seek, and the last contains a vast amount of the data required for investigation and choice making. It is extremely hard to recognize which data is in unstructured information. Unstructured and semi organized information have diverse implications relying upon their connection.
With regards to social database frameworks, it alludes to information that can't be put away in sections and columns. It must be put away in a blob, binary large object, a catch-all information sort accessible in most social database administration frameworks. Since it is hard to inquire data from unstructured information all in all, what will association do to concentrate data from unstructured information? Metadata is the best way to hunt data from unstructured information. Metadata is really information about information. Metadata can incorporate data, for example, creator and time of creation. This metadata can be put away in a database. Thus, it is anything but difficult to seek by this metadata. To take care of issues with inquiry capacity and evaluation of information, it is important to know something about the substance. More valuable would be metadata about the real substance, e.g. outlines, subjects, individuals or organisations specified. There are numerous difficulties when creating BI with semi-organised and organised information. Those are Accessing unstructured information since it is put away in an assortment of configuration. There is no standard phrasing. Volume of information is so high. Search capacity of unstructured information is difficult. Breathe life into your organization's data with BI tools. Bring your organization information to life by joining, breaking down and imagining all that information effortlessly. The devices will help you to see and comprehend the achievement components of your business all more rapidly. What's more, where things may turn out badly and where you have to make the modification. They give representatives and chiefs the likelihood to enhance business procedures once a day by utilising right data and significant bits of knowledge. What are the greatest advantages of BI tools? Improve the general execution of your association, divisions and groups. Make certainty-based choices without dismissing the instinct of experienced workers. Enhance the business procedures in the association utilising the right perceptions. Easy observing and reporting of your honest-to-goodness KPIs utilising part-based dashboards. How to easily select one of the many tools for your organisation. Step 1. Define the key by device determination criteria, both the client and ID necessities. Step 2. With a rundown of inquiries, you have to contact every one of the merchants to get the answers. Step 3. Validate and examine all the data from the business intelligence sellers. Step 4. Make a short rundown for a proof of idea, POC, and perform the POC. Step 5. Choose the tool or stage that suits your necessities and value criteria best. Choosing a business intelligence tool. Picking a business intelligence product a couple of years back was moderately straightforward and amazingly expensive. Two organisations gave off an impression of being enverging on aggregate control of the business sector, business objects and Cognos just on the off chance that you were searching for something strange as cutting-edge measurable examination or money-related solidification or access to legacy databases on the centralised computer, did you take a gander at items from organisations like SAS, Hyperion or Information Builders? Not that these BI devices did not do everything that the pioneers did. They did more. However, they didn't have the mass acknowledgement of business objects and Cognos. Business intelligence tools give organisations dependable data and genuine bits of knowledge with a specific end goal to enhance choice-making and socially coordinated effort. With the business knowledge, you'll have the capacity to deliver much better organisation results. The BI instruments give the way to productive reporting, exhaustive examination of enormous information, Measurements and investigation and dashboards showing KPIs. Conclusion The term business intelligence might end up being a prevailing fashion. Nonetheless, 
the fundamental ideas, utilizing data innovation to convey noteworthy data for chiefs, are vital for dealing with today's worldwide organizations. BI utilizes both organized and semi-organized information. The first is much less demanding to seek, however, the later contains the data required for examination and choice-making. A standout amongst essential reasons why you have to put resources into a compelling business knowledge framework is on account of such a framework can enhance proficiency inside of your association and therefore build profitability. You can utilize business knowledge to share data crosswise over various offices in your association. This will empower you to spare time on reporting forms and examination. This straightforwardness in data sharing is prone to lessen duplication of parts or obligations inside of the association and enhance the precision and helpfulness of the information produced by various divisions. Moreover, data sharing additionally spares time and enhances efficiency. With a specific end goal to profit from a successful business framework, guarantee you put resources into the talented business intelligence workforce and programming intended for expository productivity and openness. You have to additionally ensure that the framework you pick can dissect both the substance and connection of information. With that being said, the book comes to an end. Thank you for giving it a read.